They're coming up, coming up. We got the fish on, it's shaking it. Oh yeah. Oh, that's him. Joey here and we are on Lake Atlantic today on Evan's boat in the Parker and we're looking for some jacks some back-breaking amber jacks he's getting us on the mark right now I'm gonna be fishing my 6,000 salt X got a lot of power on the 8 foot carbon shield rod we got a little variety of jigs we're gonna be dropping down for these crazy strong fish and maybe we'll even get a free swimmer. Maybe a dolphin or something will come by, who knows. But I'm gonna go ahead and switch up to the action hat and get to dropping some lures down there. Just about the bottom. Huh? So I'm just about at bottom. I'm on bottom. Come on. Were you low when you got hit? Yeah, I was pretty low. I mean, I know the boat's past the wreck, but he's digging for it. Alright, so should I reel He's up? not very big, though. No? Alright, I'm gonna reel up then. Some help you, we'll get back on him. Oh yeah, come on, keep gaining. There you go. Come on, buddy. If he touches that wreck, it's over. This fish are so strong. Oh, come on. Oh! Ooh, I can feel the burn from yesterday. There you go, there you go. Man, he hit it and caught me up on my toes. Really? Yeah. Pulled my knees into the gunnel. There we go. A couple good pumps there. Oh yeah, we're getting them. Hold it. Already? On the drop, yeah. Holy shit. Line just stopped coming out. Damn, he was high up. Come on. You on bottom yet? Uh, I'm close, I'm digging. I might not get DJ far enough down. I haven't got hit yet, that's weird. I definitely got this one off the bottom. This is definitely gonna be a smaller fish. It's gotta be. Little baby. Little bitty baby, we'll just flip him in. Agreed. Right kind, wrong size. Oh yeah. So that's what we're looking for, but we want ones that are way bigger than that little guy. 
We want ones like I hooked them. Straight back down he goes. God, he's dominating me. Good one. Definitely a good one. Come on, get out of there. Oh, got you got one on too, doubled up? Oh, yeah. I'm just trying as hard as I can just to hold him. Well, the current's doing, are you winching yours up? Is he ripping out line or no? Oh yeah, he's this thing. We can just try to hold them. If we just hold them and let the boat pull us off. That's what I was trying to do. Just hold the fish and let the boat drift off it. Come on, buddy. Get off that wreck. I think mine's got me on the wreck. Yeah. Oh. No, maybe not. Oh, I thought he had me on the wreck. It just got real heavy. I probably have half a freaking fish left. Something happened with mine. I don't Oh crap, there he goes. Probably just got grabbed again. Yep, I'm getting sharked. Yeah? I think. Yeah, definitely. Damn it. That's what it is. Big sharks. Let go. I gave you half of them. You still got yours? Yeah. I distracted him for you. Oh, let go. See color. Damn, I got a small one. I got that whoop by this. You got a dink. Oh my Jesus. All right. We're pulling weight up. Well, the one I had was definitely bigger than that. All right, I got color. It don't look like I have much left though. Oh man. That's what it is. Sharks are bad. I think you got a head on him though. So, I lost the battle to the tax man. Oh God, it's brutal. Freaking brutal. So after getting those AJs sharked, we really didn't want to just donate AJs to sharks and lose a bunch of jigs. So we're out deep anyways. We're gonna see if we can find some porgies while we're out here. We got the electric. I may try dropping down the, the manual reel, but we're real deep and this current's smoking today. It's like a five mile an hour current, which is definitely not ideal. But we're pulling up to the first spot right now. We're gonna get this all set up. It's baited up and I think Evan's gonna drop it down. I'm gonna take over the wheel for a little bit. All right, we're going down. Going down. All right, don't wanna this in front of you. Going down, or coming up, coming up. We got the fish on, it's shaking it. Oh yeah. Let's see what we got. You feeling good about this one, Evan? I don't know, it kinda stopped. Unless it's just Drag no, it. it's still there. Hopefully it's just gonna drag up. Oh yeah. I'm gonna give you a little bit of reverse going that way. Let me know when you got color. Anything really. Oh, saw that shake. It's getting close, you can feel it. I'm back in neutral. Oh cool. We're about to get some color here in a second. Yeah, I can see him. Just get ready to start cranking on it. It's 
is looking like a porgy. Yes, it is. Looking like a porgy. Beautiful red porgy. Here, pick up the rod and swing them over to me. There we go, porgy on deck. Give me a little line. You can put it back in the rod holder. So these porgies are so freaking good to eat. That's dinner sun right there. Woo! Oh yeah. Sick. Oh, coronavirus. Oh. So there's a few different kinds of porgies. This is a red porgy. They're super pretty. You gotta remember what this fish looks like now and then see what it looks like once it's been in the cooler for a little bit. Oh, slow day out there pretty much. Plan was going for the AJs and it just didn't pan out due to the sharks and the smoking current. It was like five mile an hour current, which also made it really difficult to fish out deep for the snappers or the porgies, I mean. Uh, we'll be doing a lot of grouper and snapper fishing on this boat. Once uh, snapper and grouper opens up, we'll be doing the red commercial red snapper fishing on here. It's gonna be a lot of fun. But I'll show you that porgy real quick before we head in or as we head in. That's a red porgy, they taste super good. That one's right around 20 inches or so. But really, really good eating, really pretty fish. They got teeth kind of like sheep's head. His mouth's just frozen shut, but really good fish. So that's it for this one, guys. I'll go ahead and show you guys the hammerhead we ran into on the way in, and we will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.